How you go, mate? How you going? Very good, mate. Now, how did you get involved in uh, Star Wars, firstly? All right. Uh, started off, I was working as a set carpenter down in Sydney on episode two. Um, and pretty much George just saw me or something and asked me to do it. I don't really know exactly how it happened. Uh, he had a concept drawings of a character, and I guess he maybe the dreads sort of look similar. I, I had dreads at the time too, had to shave them off to do the part, but uh, grown them back. So yeah, I don't know, just being there I guess and wandering around. Did you uh, have to give away the carpentry job you were doing then? Nah, <laughs> not really, not until I actually started doing the acting, because I mean, there was the, uh, I was, as I say, I had to shave my head and, and they put me in a body mould, and then the, the sculptors and George sculpted this character. Um, so during that time, going for, for, for being moulded or for tests, or wardrobe outfits and Jedi training and all the rest of it, and, uh, and just in between I'd go back to my carpentry job until we started doing the acting days, you know. So was it uh, like double paychecks? Ah, no. <laughs> I'd take the acting over, over the carpentry if I was working for both. <laughs> oh, good money. <laughs> it was alright. And what was your favourite contribution to the saga? <laughs> Uh, I guess saving C-3PO with the old uh, force and the smile, as uh, you know, I can come, got to be happy with that, saving the buddy. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry about all this. <laughs> Mate, that is such a famous scene and all the, everyone, every fan loves the smile. Yeah, yeah, true. I get this old smiling Jedi thing, it's funny. It's cool, like, maybe that's part of, part of why it was in there, I was always smiling away, it was a pretty fun thing to do. Okay, you've got all of Australia watching you right now, so give us a big smile. <laughs>